Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, one more installment for now. Uh, this is going to be how to uh, do a couple of different kinds of turns. Uh, we've already talked about how to use variables and I have one here, an integer set up for full power uh, to be 127. And you'll notice that is present down in this code. Um, you'll see that I have appropriately commented. So you can see that we're going to start the left motor, start the right motor run motors for three seconds and then stop the left and stop the right motor. Uh, let's just go ahead and download that now and see what that looks like in uh, virtual worlds. All right, we're gonna run the motors for three seconds. Okay, perfect. Now what I wanna do is I want to make a, a right swing turn. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by turning my left wheels while my right wheels stay put. So I'm going to start motor left wheels or left motor at full power. Now I don't want to go full power. I want to go half power. So I can say full power divided by two. All right. So this is going to be a right swing turn and then I'll put a weight amount um, let's just say one second for that and then stop motor left motor okay got my code this is going to stop let's comment it stop motor and then comment this one to run run for one second okay and then let's download with the robot see what happens I'm gonna reset it so it goes back to the beginning and then go should go for three seconds forward two and three and a right swing turn awesome we didn't get a full 90 degree turn so I probably want to change uh, the amount of time. I'm going to say probably 1.8 is what I'm thinking and then we can give that a shot and try it out and see what happens. So I'll download that. A lot of this is just uh, trial and error. So I'm going to reset that. Let's go forward for three seconds and then a right swing turn. Oh, most, almost perfect. So I'll probably change it to 1.85. Get a little bit more uh, uh, a little bit more precision there. Okay, so that's a swing turn. Now let's do a point turn. And uh, if we wanted to do a swing turn to the left, so we could just copy all this and I'm gonna copy that and then I'm gonna paste it. All right, and put a weight in the middle of, let's just say one second, okay. And this is just to separate the two. And this is 1.8 seconds. It's very important to comment your code, okay? All right, so this is gonna be a left swing turn. And with a left swing turn, a left swing turn, you're gonna turn the right motor okay and let's download that to the robot and see what happens okay we'll reset that and say go forward for three seconds right swing turn left swing turn cool all right so now let's figure out how to do point turns all right, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna just have it wait again. Oh, you notice I got a yellow X there because I didn't put my, I didn't put my closing semicolon. Now I'm gonna copy this whole line right here because I wanna chill out after this. And, okay. So now I'm gonna do my point turn. So let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna comment this a little bit, okay. I'm gonna do some, some good comments right here. I'm gonna say 
these are swing turns. Okay, and then down here, these are point turns. Okay, so point turn is just like a swing turn, except for both motors are running. So maybe not just like. I'll start motor. Left motor. Full power divided by two. I don't want to go full speed. All right. And then I'm going to start motor right motor and now I want to go the opposite direction so I'm going to do minus full power divided by 2 so that is going to go backwards but when we have one going forward and one going backward we're turning and you'll see how that works just in a second if the left motor is going forward and the right motor is going backward, we're going to be making a right turn. So this is a right point turn. And then, of course, we have to have some wait time. And I bet we're going to turn harder because then we did with the swing turn because both motors are going to be going. So I'm going to guess that it's about half the amount of time so I'm going to say 0.9 seconds. And uh, then after that, I'm going to say stop motor, uh, left motor, stop motor, right motor. Okay. And then I'm going to have it chill out for a second. I'm going to copy that and then paste it. Okay. And again, I can comment these. Stop. Left motor. And then stop right motor. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to download it to the robot and see what happens. If you'll notice, you can see your code running at the same time as the robot. So I'm going to push play and see what happens. Oh, I need to push reset. Here we go. Push play, move forward, full power for three seconds. Turn right, right swing turn, chill out for a second. Left swing turn. I think it froze. All right, well, if this happens, you guys can actually close the tab. And you can go back here, and it's probably because this happened. You can go back to desktop.uttyler.edu, just like I'm doing. Okay, we're back. Um, and so let's see what happens when we run that program. Forward for three seconds. Left swing turn, or right swing turn, left swing turn. And then... All right, let's have it chill out after our swing turns for a little bit longer. Let's say three seconds. That way we can make sure uh, that the uh, right point turn is working properly. So I'm going to just change that time, reset this, upload it, push play again, it's forward for three seconds. Right swing turn, left swing turn, and then a right point turn. Okay. And okay, so we have uh, looks pretty good, I think, so far. I mean let's add let's add the other point turn. So I'm gonna copy all that and paste it right here and then instead of the uh, right motor going backwards I'm going to have the left motor go backwards which will give me a left point turn okay and I'm going to have it chill out for a 
couple seconds in between. I'm going to have it chill out even more right here. Okay, let's download the program. And so we, now we should have a right point turn and then a left point turn. So this is what a lot of programming is. It's trial and error. And sometimes you have things freeze and not work and you got to restart. It happens, okay? And that's why it's important to have notes too because if I couldn't get back in here for a day or something, when I do come back, I might have forgotten what I was doing. But with those notes, it'll be a lot easier. All right, don't fail me now. Let's go. There we go. Forward three seconds. Right swing turn, left swing turn. Okay, I think that worked. Okay. Except for, you notice, I was wondering what's going on here. We were stopping the wrong motor. That's why it was doing funky things. It takes, takes time to figure things out sometimes. So let's try that again. Got forward for three seconds, right swing turn, left swing turn, and then wait for four seconds. There we go, now we're chilling. And then a right point turn and a left point turn. Excellent, okay, so we know how to do swing turns. We know how to do point turns. Um, and that's all for this video. And next video, we'll probably be talking about functions.